Yannick Sinner versus Daniel Medvedev is the final quarterfinal for the men's US Open for 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number five seed and would take on Lajevic in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight back to win. 6 3 3 6 6 3 6 1. In the second round, he'd take on Marajan and after a third set tie break, would get through in straights. 6 3 6 2 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Kaboli, the 31st seed, who'd been playing really well this season. There's no problem for Medvedev getting through in straights. 6 3 6 4 6 3. In the fourth round, he'd take on Borges, a man that pushed him to four sets at the Australian Open this year. This is not the same with Medvedev getting through in straights. 6 love 6 1 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinal. Sinner into the tournament as the number one seed. I'm going to take on McDonald in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would come back to win. 2 6 6 2 6 1 6 2. In the second round, he take on Mickelson. But this time, no problem getting through in straights. 6 4 6 love 6 2. Third round, he take on O'Connell. We're taking out Jerry along the way. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6 1 6 4 6 2. In the fourth round, he take on Tommy Paul. 14th seed. And this was a battle. With Sinner having to fight back in the first set and winning a couple of tie breaks to eventually run away with it. 7 6 7 6 6 1 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played 12 times before with Medvedev holding a 7 5 lead against Sinner. However, Sinner has won five of the last six matches, with the last one being a Medvedev win in the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, that five set epic that we watched. They also, of course, played this round up in finals, so the last two Grand Slams have been bangers between these two guys. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he sort of needs to be more aggressive than I think he usually wants to be. He needs to stand on the baseline and be a bit more aggressive, because if Sinner does take over the baseline and makes Medi run and bully him around, it could be a long day for Medvedev. If Sinner's going to win this one. He needs to serve well and limit the errors. He hit so many errors in the first set against Paul, especially early on when he was down 4-1. Can't do that against Medvedev. Medvedev's too good to give away a 4-1 lead like Paul did in that first set. So he's got to be careful, Sinner, coming out here a little bit stronger than he has been. Very fun match. Hopefully, we get another epic like they've provided the last two times they've met at the Grand Slams. But I have to go with Sinner in this one in four sets. I reckon we might just get a four set. Sinner played so well after that first initial bad performance at the start of that Paul match. And then he just dominated after that. It was really good to see. But I don't know if maybe we can hang with that guy. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's making the semis, though?